2023 has been the toughest year of uh, my 48 long years of life. Uh, there's been a couple reasons for that. And, uh, you know, some of it has to do with like close family members, health and all that stuff. And, uh, you know, the stress of trying to kind of run your own business. But what I have to say is that photography as a stress reliever is an absolutely valid, beautiful reason to love photography. And that's what I'm doing today. So I've got the GFX and APS-C and Micro Four Thirds with me. I'm not gonna tell you what cameras. And then also today, I'm not gonna tell you which camera took which picture. And I'm gonna use different cameras for every location. Uh, and we're just gonna post them. I'm gonna crop them to the 16 by nine ratio for YouTube. And we're gonna go with that. And you're gonna see these photos. I'm not gonna say which one's which because I don't think it matters. I don't think it matters at all. Just get the photo. I have different, uh, you know, themes for each camera, or not themes, but different visions for what each camera, each lens is gonna do. I only brought one lens per camera. And uh, we're just gonna have some fun and relieve, relieve some stress, take some breaths, all right? So first stop is this little cool barn with this, you know, the winter, the uh, fall, late fall, winter months have the best light, man. It's just gorgeous. And so even in the middle of the day, which it is right now, the light is beautiful. Uh, we're gonna make some beautiful photos. So come along with me and let's have some fun. Look at it, I'm already smiling. <laughs> so I got, I got lots of issues in my head, but uh, just being out here, even though the land is like all gray and stuff and brown, it's just food for the soul, right? Photography is for the soul sometimes, and it's pretty amazing. So next stop, I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken, a little bit of down from here are some abandoned uh, gas pumps that are cool. I've shot these many times. things about photography that's a challenge is the idea that you always have to go someplace new or find something new to take a photo of and I get that that feeling that that narrative of I need to find new things and that's cool but like these gas pumps and some of the things that I've shot today are things that I've shot plenty of times before and for instance the gas pumps it's really one of my favorite little stops on the way anywhere out here I've never taken the same exact photos different times of the year different types of light different philosophies, different moments in my life all come together, even the mood that I'm in, to give me a new perspective and a new way to look at these things. And that is one of the important things about going back to some of the places you've been to before, is that you will always find something new and something different. And it might be the 10th time you've gone out to, to a place, even if you've been there 10 times before and shot a thousand photos of that thing, the 10th time out there, the 50th time out there might be the one where you're getting the shot that you've always wanted.
All right, totally randomly going down these roads and I found this cool church. We're gonna have to look up later to see what this is. Uh, but this is one of the magical parts. I've known, I've seen pictures of this church and I think, I mean, I've looked up where most of these places are in Nebraska, but I don't think I ever marked this thing down on a map. And the clouds are just starting to part, so the light's hitting it a little bit better. This is perfect. This is a super cool spot, but you can see this is popular among uh, abandoned seekers, right? You can see the path, people going up. The sad part is that people have broken out some of the windows and given all the uh, abandoned photographers a bad name, which really sucks. You want to go shoot this stuff, touch nothing, leave no trace. Okay, that was a fun little spot. I'm not spending a ton of time here because the sun just went into darker clouds. And so the light's a little flat. Not that that's a big problem because it's the sky is kind of made for that. It's cool, but it's definitely one that I'm gonna come back to when I have a little bit more time. There it is, uh, at night, because that's gonna be the sunset. And do I have time to go back here tonight? Okay, so this is pretty amazing. It's very, uh, very cool. This is a, uh, God, I feel like tearing up. You know, I can't forget the thing I love about photography is finding unique, cool, historic places with like uh, texture that have a, that have a story. And this place definitely has a story. When you look at it, it is uh, intricate. It's, there's a level of detail and care that was put into this that just, it's different than it is now. And, uh, wow, you can imagine all the kids running around, right? Coming to school, going to their farms, going home. And then, you know, there's church. I was literally, uh, it's probably two minutes away was the church we were just at, this old church. So what a cool little location. There's some hills over there behind me, <laughs> hills in Nebraska. This is <laughs> some small hills, uh, but yeah, this is, this is gorgeous. And, uh, so I've got a couple cameras. I got one, um, uh, in the car still, I'm gonna get in a few minutes, but let's get a couple shots of this place. I was having so much fun and I was fully content to let these photos stand on their own. You know, the light was getting dimmer and it wasn't that great, although the location was cool and I was just having fun, right? Um, so I kind of thought, you know what, I'm gonna go home. So I started driving away, capturing a couple things that you could see here, just from the countryside, uh, before eventually I started to see that the sun was getting pretty cool. And we started to get one of those really cool sunsets. So I tore around right on the dirt road. I went reversed and came back and shot a whole bunch more. And of course, these are the best shots of the day because the light is the most dramatic. <laughs> 